Ladies and gentlemen, folks, we're coming at you live. We're about to fucking start the show. We're about to get it going. Okay, everybody put your fucking hands up for your boy, Dobus, coming at you live. This is the Nate Show, Black Friday edition. I hope everybody's fucking doing good. I hope they're doing all right. It's been a couple days, so let's let the music go and let me get ready, baby. That is nothing. What the fuck? All right. Folks. Folks. Ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. Gent, 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 gent. Okay, okay, okay. We are fucking ready to go. Okay, okay. Folks, how the fuck is everybody fucking doing? I'm here. Is that a cool transition or what? Am I coming at you nice? Okay, man, I'm going to make myself pretty cool in the center. Check it out. Nice and big. Oh, it's Black Friday, a day to be alive. You know, we went to the store earlier today, and I didn't. I wasn't seeing what I thought I was going to see. A lot of people wasn't happening a lot of people are still inside recovering from them snacks okay eating them damn turkeys and taking a snoozer i would only hope a couple people just went to sleep instead of trying to drive with all that turkey juice in them okay next thing you know your car is upside down and the kids are dead and you make it through the wreck and now you're kidless and your wife is only partially alive and partially you know still thinking most of her body's shut down her head's caved in and now you're like wow what am i gonna do now starting fresh okay so that's how we start the show on a good note sadness is in the air okay the holidays are coming i don't really care for the damn holidays too many people are out here fucking excited excited for uh okay i'm sorry checking my checking my phone my girl's coming so I got to be aware. I got to make sure to look at my phone. Sometimes I just set my phone down and I close my eyes. I don't really close them, but I just don't think anymore. And then all of a sudden I'm like, damn, three hours has went by without checking my messages. Who the fuck's been hitting me up? I don't know. It's just one of them days I've eaten way too fucking much and I'm feeling like shit. Okay. I can't wait until tomorrow because we're going back to normal. It's too long of a weekend. It's only Friday. I've been off since Wednesday Eve, or no, Wednesday afternoon. Too many days off. Long ass. I get a double weekend this week. I can't wait till Monday, man. I'm ready to get in that damn job. I'm ready to sit down and get the goddamn day going. <laughs> I don't get to sit, though, when I'm at the job. I'm not like a lot of people that be chilling. I'd be busting my tits. And move my legs and lifting these big old guns of mine. Okay, packing. All right. So, anyways, it's, it has. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm starting. I'm getting a little too excited. We went to the store. Okay, I got a new TV. I'm very stressed out about it because I don't have a big enough TV stand. So I did the next best thing. I took the uh, cardboard that came in the TV. The cardboard. The TV. Uh, fuck. The TV was inside a box. Okay, the box. I used the box and I cut it in pieces long strips and i made a nice layer to go on top of the uh, original tv stand it's wide enough for the legs it's drooping and it's leaning forward i'm waiting for uh you know coming home from a long day of work on monday and that bitch is spilled out on the ground okay you should learn in life not to cut corners especially when you're spending on things that like uh you know I'm not much of a TV guy, but I use it every day. Some people, they go all out on the damn TV because they know that's their most prized possession. That thing in front of... Just taking... I can't see because you're watching so much TV. A lot of people fucking can't get enough of the television. I like it. It's all right. I could have a TV this big. Just got to get closer. Got to zoom your face in. Doesn't matter how big it is. No, I'm just kidding. I like a nice, cool size TV. But I don't want to rearrange any, any more of the room. So I just went with a 50 inch, okay? I don't even know what the fuck the size was before, but it was the resolution 720p. Wow. I don't even care. I don't even notice it. Looks fine to me. 
Got a 4K TV. I don't even fucking know why. It's dimmer than shit. Looks like I'm looking into a cave with a fire in the distance. I see there's a light, but it's not that bright. And that's what it seems like looking at the TV. Looking into a dark damn cave. It's all right. 4K. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I don't notice a damn difference. Okay. I can't even, sometimes I, I, you know, about as far, about as far as my monitor is from me, it's about as good as my vision's get like this far. I go a little bit further. Shit starts to, I start to have to do this, go full Chinese to get that vision nice. And no, it's even worse like this. My vision's fucked. I didn't think I would ever need a pair of bifocals in my life. And I never, I always thought, I was always saw myself as somebody that could spot a fucking a missile coming from space from 10,000 miles beyond. I'd be able to fucking look and be like, oh my God, we're fucked. No, man, no. I can barely even read the Spider-Man poster across my, 10 feet away from me. That's a big Spider-Man lettering. Looking blurry. Looking damn blurry. So maybe eventually down the road, I might get some contacts. I'm a type of person. I ain't going to wear no damn glasses. Glasses are for nerds. And I'm not going to be caught dead wearing something that could get me stuffed into a damn locker. Too many people are out here walking around glasses thinking that they're safe. You're not safe. Next thing you know, somebody next to you in the road is going to slam into your car because you're a fucking nerd. Okay? Bullies are everywhere. Cracking the nuts. Trying to get that lunch money. Okay, so it looks like fat-ass Tammy Star from Thousand Pound Sisters is a fucking deader than hell. Or is she? Thousand Pound Sisters, Tammy Slayton's confirming she's still alive. I am fucking just pleased to know that she's still out here kicking it. Because what are we going to do without this? Oh, man. T what would TV do without their favorite fat shows? Guess what? We'll have another one. But you can't, you know, it's hard to replace a good fat star. You know, fat people have the best time in the light. And, you know, they, they're the ones that really speak their mind. Because they don't have any care in the world. They're not worried about sucking in. Because it ain't going to look any different, honey. But And they also just let their hair down. They chill. They vibe. Okay? So you get the real person. A lot of people on TV are just so fake. You know, you're like, are you reading a script? You know this bitch can't read one letter. One letter. She doesn't even know what the what the letter T stands for. She's like, hmm, bing, bing. Okay, the only letter she knows is the ABCs and the spaghetti -o can. Okay, and those are that's a mystery to her too. But she knows her shapes and signs. Okay, that's how she learned how to spell with the damn noodles and his alphabet spaghettios. But she always ate the damn letters so quick that, man, it didn't even fucking, she never learned. Okay, so Tammy's out here fucking, something happened to her. On Thousand Pound Sisters, Tammy Slatten has had to deal with a lot of tabloid rumors. And the reality star recently shared that she will still, oh, uh, wait, fuck. Oh, shit, I can't read. Okay, she shared that she was still alive after a rumor circulated that she had passed away. Okay, that's a rumor that I, you know, it's not like I would just, if somebody told me she's dead, I'd be like, well, I mean, it's not a shocker. That's a lot. I mean, I can't, sometimes I, I eat a lot of food and I feel like I can't even move. I feel like I'm having a hard time breathing. Could you imagine having every inch of your skin filled with chocolate and cream? Oh, bitch, that shit's got to be tough. That's why she needs this, uh tank right here these these tubes these tubes give her positive waves of energy positive vibes somebody's like speaking into a microphone and it just keeps saying keep trucking tammy and it's going straight into her nose into her mind so she, she can't go to sleep because there's constant fucking voices in her head okay anyways tammy's just fucking she's struggling so it looks like she's all right there you know rumors rumors always happen you'd be surprised i went to my buddy's house for thanksgiving okay all right, the whole his family was there. There's a couple people there. I went with my roommate. We we're having fucking turkey. I don't even like turkey. Get that shit out of town. It's a nasty. It's a fucking farming bird. Okay, it's second to a ro it's second to a rat that you find in your basement. Okay, dirtier than shit. Okay, the thing's filled with germs. It's filled with fucking AIDS. It's filled with every virus, even viruses we don't even know about. Stuff that kills you within a night. Okay, one night of eating a turkey could be your last night alive. 
Okay, make sure you cook your turkeys. But the thing is, when you cook a turkey, that motherfucker gets so dry. It's like eating a mattress. And people love it. Oh, man, do people love it. And that's why they made a thing called gravy. Not only gravy, turkey gravy. It's like, uh, it's like you know, giving your turkey some water. Okay, giving it some agua, letting it fucking get refreshed. And then you can bite your fucking little teeth in there and... Mmm, turkey. I'm going to fucking having a day. I don't even know. I don't like it. I go there. We're eating fucking turkey. There's fucking... I actually, I'm not a stuffings guy. I don't like a stuffing. Okay, all I know it's croutons that are all got water in them. They expand and they're fucking nasty. Last yesterday, my eyes were opened to a new layer of goodness. I had some stuffing yesterday. I had some like garlic and some uh, rose. I don't even know what was in it. There were some green shards of veg uh, seasoning. Damn, bitch. I could have just ate that. I'm a type of guy that I'll buy a whole fucking box of Hawaiian King's Hawaiian rolls and eat every fucking one over and over and over. Because the worst thing is like bread. I think I got the gene from my mom. She likes her bread. And I like bread too. It's hard to tell. To, I'm not going to lie. I bought it. Earlier we went to Walmart. I bought a fucking container of King's Hawaiian rolls. And boy, if I didn't fucking eat every single one but one. It's right over the monitor right now on top of my little mini fridge. Yes, I got a mini fridge in the room. We got a big fridge out there, but I got one in the room. Sitting nice, sitting pretty. How many people have a mini fridge in their room? That's not, that's over 14. Me. Anyways, they're good. I like bread. So we're eating, the, there's all the fixings. Okay, but right over where the, uh, the stove was, the turkey was sitting there. All this fucking juice. Somebody had spilled something. The inside of the stove. There's juice everywhere. Okay, I see it. I'm like, oh, that's real good. But I've been to people's houses where they're just messy people. They let shit spill and, like, they don't even... For me, that's a, that's a fucking nightmare. I'm like, whoa, everybody, stop. I don't care who did it. Just grab the shit so I can get under there and clean it up. But it's just sitting there. I didn't think anything of it. My roommate goes over there. He's like, what'd you do this night? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't do that shit. I hate it. I hate being blamed for something I didn't do. I was looking for the nearest knife. Nearest two knives. I didn't fucking spill that shit. Why the fuck would I spill? In my mind, I'm like, I'm the only one that cleans this house that we live in. You think I'm just going to go to somebody else's house and just take the pan that has the turkey grease and just slosh it around and let it like I'm like at a fucking gold mine and I'm over there sifting the sand and dirt to get the to get the chunks of gold within there. OK, let all the liquid go on. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not taking the pan and tipping it back and forth and watch it spill all inside the stove. Jesus Christ. And the thing is. Once one person says something, everybody's like on board. Yeah, why'd you do that? I have 10 people pointing their fucking fingers at me. I'm looking for some change in my pocket. I'm about to take the bus home. I don't have to deal with this shit. I came here for a fucking turkey, and I came here to sit, and I don't know. I don't, I'm not a get-together guy. You ever go to a fucking get-together with your family? And you're like, uh, you're just in your mind, you're not really even prepared for it. You get there, and then you're like, oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta talk. What the fuck do I have to say? I was at work yesterday. I woke up. I'm like, kind of like barely awake. I mean, I'm awake, but I'm not like, I haven't been working today. So I'm like, still like in the zone, the couch, chilling on the couch mindset, slouched down in my mind. Okay. So you get to these in I mean, you get there and I'm like, all right, there's people I don't know. Fuck. But I'm the type of person I can't handle a moment of silence. I'd rather sit there and be like, um, oh, like just waiting for making noise just to stall until I come up with something to say and make it awkward as hell just so I don't have a silent moment. The last thing I want is my buddy's dad looking over and being like, who's the quiet guy? Even though everybody else is like this. I've never seen anybody so serious about watching The Simpsons in my life than when I went over there yesterday. Everybody's on the edge of their seat looking at those fucking yellow people. Disgusting. Makes me sick. So the fucking holidays Charge are... Oh complete. my... Gee, okay. That really scared me. That's the worst thing ever. Have you ever like... 
I like to be scared. I like I like a good scary spook. I like a jump scare. But when you know it's coming. I mean, you don't know when it's coming because you get scared. Otherwise, you're just lying about being scared. But when I know I'm about to be scared, you better stay there. If this fucking thing comes down again, I'm going to swirl it around. Anyways, um, when I don't know it's coming, like in a setting where it's just like you're just vibing all of a sudden, just loud, somebody's got one of the air horns for some reason, or just like right now, and my thing just reminded me that the charge was complete. Unreal. Does it, do you need to tell me? I don't need to know that. Because it's plugged in. Bitch, I never take it out. Fucking ridiculous. Anyways, I'm just bitching. I'm moaning. I'm griping. So Tammy's fucking dead or she's alive. I don't know. So let's just clear up the damn rumor. What's going on, Tammy? What? Oh I my heavens. What the fuck? Hold on. What the fuck? Oh my. Stop. What is this? This is not what I clicked. I looked into this. I looked everywhere. I do not believe a Slayton sister has passed away. Thank you, God. I adore Tammy. And look at Tammy. I can't even pause the fucking video because this stupid fuck that's got a cooking board keeps showing up. Stop it. But Tammy's sitting down in her medical bed right now. And no, no, sister. I'm still alive. Tammy's lost over 100 pounds. I think she's doing great. I don't think this is true. I don't know about what? that. Nothing's worse than like somebody that can't keep their fingers out of their nose for 30 seconds in a video. Tammy, chill out. God damn it. Okay, so this is the Nate Show. I do stuff like this. I find things on the internet and I talk about it. Okay? Sometimes we, we mostly watch videos, but I like to start with the news. Okay, it looks like Ray Liotta's come back from the dead. Wouldn't that be zany and crazy if... uh? If he came back, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyways, what else we got going on today? Let's see, Khloe Kardashian's newborn son, meet her daughter. Here we go. Let's see Khloe Kardashian's little fucking demon child. Okay, newborn son, meet her daughter, true, in Kardashian's season finale. I thought they already had a daughter named True. I don't even know what the fuck I'm reading. Okay, the season finale shows close. 38. I didn't even know. Listen, God damn it. I didn't even know that the end of the new season of the Kardashian show was at the end of it. I thought the show just fucking came back. I got to do some catching up. Catching up with the K's. I don't really... The show is hard to get through. It's very hard to get through. But... It's all right. It's entertainment, right? I mean, I don't know what else they can do on here. Like, sometimes I do this show, and I can only handle fucking an hour of myself. Imagine, like, you're just constantly on the, the TV, and somebody's like, what do you do on your show? And you're like, I don't do anything. Bro, they just film me. It's crazy. And I'm, like, rich as fuck because of it. I'd be like, shh. If that isn't a sign that demons are at work pulling the strings in the universe... And I don't know what is. Okay, so her baby finally came out. I'm, I'm only hope that there's a fucking uh, Instagram page for that little piece of shit so I can get on there and fucking, I don't know. I don't know. Madonna's looking disgusting. Look at this shit. Okay, Madonna at 63 isn't looking well. Okay, she's looking like a regular voodoo witch. Okay, a witch doctor. Okay, but, you know, that's what she does. Anyways, what else we got going on? Chris Christie declares Trump unfit. To be 2024 GOP nominee. Now, look at Chris Christie. Look at them damn nostrils. Them bitches are massive, man. Not only are they massive, look at the size of this head. You know, they always say the human head weighs like 10 pounds. This baby be pushing 27. This head is a lot. Okay, this head's got more fat than my stomach, my ass, my thighs. A lot more than any part of my body has on it. And that's just his head. It only gets worse the further you go down. Okay, so the former uh, former President Donald J. Trump on Tuesday said, Tuesday night said, had dinner with Nick Fuen. Okay, we're not. Jesus Christ. I'm not reading that shit. Get out of town. Okay, so it looks like Travis Scott's back in the... This guy scares the hell out of me. You ever really looked at this guy close up? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I do his full screen? Holy shit. Looking like a cyborg, okay? He's looking unreal. Some of these people in Hollywood, it's like, this guy's like 72. Okay, he gave up the hair, tattooed hair on. 
Okay, then he's got these piercing blue eyes. These don't even look real either. They look like they're made of doll's eyes. Like the dolls that my sister used to have. I used to hate walking by a room that would be staring at me from fucking afar. Okay, the worst part about a, a doll, a porcelain doll, is that they don't blink. Scares the fucking shit out of me. And look at this. Blackface. Okay, so Usher's... Oh, man, Usher, I don't know. Uh, I'm having a hard time. There's nothing in the news. Everything sucks. Okay, keeping up with the Kardashians. 12... Oh, my Jesus Christ. Let's just get into the fucking... Let's get to the show. What are we going to watch today? Friendsgiving. Let's watch Trash Tuesday, a really shitty podcast. Let's go. What the hell you is guys? this? All right, you guys, check it out. Here comes Annie Esther, or Annie Lederman, looking like a big piece of shit. She's out here fucking got her painter shirt on. I would only hope that's some gallery art depth collection. Okay? Straight from Amazon.com. You son of a bitch. Guys, we are here for you. We are your queen sluggies. And okay, I'm sure you are. I mean, if you, I don't know if anybody's ever sat down and tried to watch this show. It's a lot of this. A lot of cuddling on the fucking couch. And I don't even know what the hell they even say on here. I get so lost staring at the fucking stupid background. What the fuck is this? Lines? Real nice. I hate a fucking line on a wall. Okay, it's like, it's just like, it's just trying to distract you from the reality. A stick flamingo. What the fucking shit? Over TikTok. Son of a bitch! Oh, I'm sorry. Nepo really? Nepo, Nepo babies. babies. But there are Nepo babies. I mean, there are mildly Nepo babies, and there are real Nepo babies. And you Which are am I? Not, mild. You are the What the fuck is this shit? This is like nastier than hell. This looks like uh, Amy Smart meets uh, Jessica Simpson. Meets fucking, I don't know, my dead friend's sister's whole body put together into one. She's looking strange, and she's got that old 70s rocker hair where it's stiff from the fucking pollution. Okay? I can see them damn roots, but the thing is, her hair was never dyed. It's just that shitty. Her hair's so shitty that it looks like her regular hair color's down here, but no, sister, this is all natural. Campbell's Soup fucking gross i'll this nepo baby <laughs> no you're um, just talented because here's the thing nepotism is annoying if someone's not talented and they're getting stuff yeah. you smashed that you movie. Smashed. did you see it i know it what the hell are you guys talking about let's go back in time we're going back here's annie uh lederman showing off her stupid fucking cup we see every episode and then look at this flame arms she's wearing the stupid outfit again but nothing worse than an outfit that shows off the real disaster here. Look at all that damn skin. Shink, shink, ching, 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 ching. Rolling out of town. She's coming unglued. And she's over here got her fucking pants unzipped. That's That can only mean one thing. At any moment, a stream of blood might shoot out. It's period day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Scary smile. Ba uh, Kevin Bacon's daughter. Yeah, exactly. Kara Sedgwick's daughter. Can you? Can That's Kevin Bacon's daughter. It is. What the fuck, dude? This is bullshit. See, I knew something was really fucked up here. Okay, nobody out here in the world could have a face like Kevin Bacon. But then you put it on a girl, you're going to have a fucked up looking kid. Okay, it's the type of girl you see behind a bar down in Kentucky in this like, population of 10, the town. The town called uh ragville rags okay it's looking like she'd be over there cleaning dishes all day they don't even need to be dried or cleaned she's that bored uh, that that should be nepo baby apparently that's what people call them really? nepo baby. yeah i've been seeing oh. that all over tiktok shut up i don't want to hear it okay i never will ever want to hear nothing from you let's see that shoulder shr shoulder shrug from kalila again Play the fucking show. Apparently, that's what people call them. Really? Us, baby. Us. Yeah, I've been seeing oh. that all over TikTok. Nepo really? Nepo, Nepo baby. baby. But there are Nepo. I'd like to look at her and be like, you're fucking lying. That's what I want to do. If I ever get big, I'm getting on the show and I'm going to shut her down. Anytime she tries to say a word, I'll say, no, you're fucking lying. Nepo babies. 
I mean, there are mildly Nepo babies and there are real Nepo babies. And you Which are am I? Not, mild. You are the <laughs> mildest Nepo baby. No, you're um, just telling. What are you doing? I don't like when somebody has to have their do something with their purse during a show. Okay. Sometimes I'll look at my phone and when I go back and watch the stream, I'm pissed that I'm looking at my phone, but it's out of sight. When you got to take time to get your old insulin bag from the ground, pick it up and be putting secret objects in there or checking on something. I don't know if you can be trusted. You can't be trusted. Because here's the thing. Nepotism is annoying if someone's not talented and they're getting stuff. Yeah. You smashed that you movie. Smashed. Did you see it? I know Everyone Annie's in my that. family has seen it. She, she, that's her saying no. Were no, you no, scared? Saying, honestly, I call my mom right now. Oh, I thought she was going to show us her uh, her panties. She's like, check them out. There's piss everywhere. That's disgusting. Oh, Whatever you call mom. your mom. I want you to tell us what what happens. We'll bleep out that. Yeah, what happened? No, don't call your fucking mom. See, she's like, yeah, what happened, bitch? I'm on Annie's side. Check it out. I've been chewing my nails all day. And there are scabs and maggots in between her fingers. It's in the movie. What happens? Yeah. yeah so she doesn't fucking know. You're in trouble. Get the guards. Oh, she's lying. No. Oh, my God. If you haven't seen it. Delilah, I it's okay. Yeah, see? Exposed her. Look, this is the type of person that's constantly putting on lip gloss, but it ain't going to even help. Them lips dry immediately once the air hits them, honey. She doesn't care. No, you guys, I'm watching it with Jean tonight. Okay. Delilah. Oh! <laughs> Oh. I don't, first of all, I I am. Thank you. That's what we call a fool's fib. For going to see it, I don't even care if you. Do, I obviously. know. I know you don't. I know you. Don't. But also, oh, Botox is looking good, bitch. Where was know, it during right? the movie? Just really no, nowhere. Yeah, now this is when they just start doing the show by themselves, and kalila has been kicked off. You told me Did this is when her shit's sinking in. She's getting that cold sweat down her back. She's like, fuck, dude. This is like when every part of your body starts to feel like it can melt off. Do you see how amazing. wrinkly wrinkle my head But was? if you weren't wrinkly and like, you weren't wrinkly like wrinkly, you were like emaciated. Uh, you were scared. and I, My mom goes to me after seeing it. Really not fun seeing your daughter decompose right before your eyes. <laughs> I was like, okay, decompose. That's a strong word choice. Were like, they okay. No, you know what else is strong? That fucking ad placement. Dear, 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 dear. So proud of you, though. You fucking. Yeah, you they were. were. So Look at her. I like when somebody has to turn their eyes down to make sure they're doing their job. Okay. She's showing the fucking cup. Don't worry, Annie. God damn it. They were stoked. It was cool. I can't tell. No, this is why. Is this when the show ends and her fucking pants completely bust off? I don't want to spoil anything. So you can spoil see. now. Everyone I know that there's a. I know my mom was talking. No, shut up! You didn't see nothing about a car scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's it. She's finished. She's like, you know what? I gotta go. She goes out there and forgets how to drive and just kills every fucking person on the sidewalk. And were you gonna? About were you gonna like? By the way, the fact that your mom will lie for you—that's what we learned. No, this no, is no, actually that's fun. What we learned. Did no, we this learn? is actually fun because you haven't seen it. And like, now this is fun. This is fun. No, you don't care about me. You're like this shit. is so fun to be here. You don't give a shit about my career. Andy? That's actually a good thing. I like to see Annie uh, Annie Lederman have a, had enough. She's like, you know what? Tables have turned, bitch. That's why I'm in the middle. I'm the leader of the show. And she's got two staffs, okay? And each of them have fucking nails in them. And they're all facing a Esther's direction. You're finished. <laughs> no, it's fun. Where's Nehemiah? You're like, oh. I miss who? him. Okay, Sosie and I share an obsession with the challenge. Oh, right, right, right. I do know yes. this about Sosie. Yes, yes. And I'm, I, yeah. She gave me the b biggest gift anyone ever has given me, which is that I was washing dishes and I was having a really annoying night. Can Skeet not wash a dish? What's going on? He, he washes them half shooting? the time. He's, he only shoots, you can only shoot them up? Scoot. Scoot. Oh, I guess I was thinking Skeet. We kind of do half and half and this half. Okay, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Let's go to another thing. If we were on MTV, the challenge. Dear, dear, dear. Oh. Can we please go kid. on the challenge? No, I think we can. Well, I think we can. I'll, I I need to get in better shape. You I guys, know. I really need to get in better shape. I need to get. You're ready good. No, no, no. I'm not good. You're good. Yeah. I'm not good. My hands you're not good. Your hands are sweaty. That ain't gonna. You know what? Getting in shape ain't gonna help that. That's just gonna make it worse. At anything climby, I'm you're gonna slip good. off. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You're already seven foot. You got an advantage. But that's good. High pressure competition. You don't want to be perfect. Therapist says no more competition for the rest of your life. Oh, when the yeah. fuck have you done anything? Okay. The biggest competition she had was bagging Bobby Lee. And that's pretty fucking easy. I think I could bag Bobby Lee. 
Okay, go behind a bush, put my leg out right outside of his house. Okay, let that sun hit it right. That boy be doing a fucking couple donuts before he almost runs me over. Says, I try to get in the car. And he gets me in the back. And we go have we 69 all the way to wherever the fuck that piece of shit has to go. And next thing you know, I'm going to be getting that boy a haircut. Because Bobby Lee, he's got some disgusting hair. It's fucking gross. Yeah. In terms of physical competition, because of for my head swimming, you can yeah. host the ch- the. Um, Would you yeah. say you're like a naturally competitive person? Um, I think I was forced to be competitive, yeah. and I don't want to be. And yeah, it makes me like sweat even thinking about. You it. don't seem comp- like I no, never not at all. Vibes with no, no, not competitive. You always and, like, let me shine. Like, uh, not competitive, like career wise or stuff like yeah. that. I'm more you were forced like to be kickball. sports, yeah, or stuff. Then I go nuts. Right. Okay, shut up. Where's the next part? How our voices sound, man. I'm starting to like this is this is like when I realize the show sucks. Ezra Miller's Miller's felony charges and our friends church. I can't read the rest. Is this even worth clicking? God damn it. Can you forget it. We can we <laughs> you guys, you guys, I've been like foaming at the mouth, wanting to talk about this for months, but I feel like we have held back, Annie and I. But I really want to talk about Ezra Miller. I know everyone's oh, like tiptoeing about really. it. Yeah. But I think it's like, can we finally just can Let's someone talk about it. tell me what happened? Okay. Ezra Miller. <laughs> Do we can can Carlos, can we pull up like the specifics? Yeah, pull them goddamn up. I'll give you the, the also story. how annoying is it that he's or that sh- that they are they and this is going to be the most difficult just fucking say he's a guy god damn it does he have a dick he's got a dick he's a guy okay don't even start with this uh schematic or semantics whatever the fuck the word is okay stop dicking around annie get real nobody likes a fibber and a faker this is gonna be the most difficult because thing. Because you're making it even harder because you're already making it sound like, you know, it's just let's just Okay, what is this? Adverser Miller pleads not guilty to felony burglary charges. Flashstar faces twenty six years in Vermont prison if convicted. Nice. Just say one thing. Carlos texts me, he's like, I'll be outside in a hat and a shirt, and I was like, I know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Like, what else did you say, what other descriptors did I you said give? Blue shirt. Blue shirt. That's a little Why don't you just say it has no hair? Also, you know, I used to live on this block. <laughs> you used to live on this block? On this block. Nightmare. Anyways, back to I remember Nightmare I went there. Oh, yeah, you did. To one of your house parties. To, yeah. To, oh, <laughs> you have house parties? It was, uh, that was the last one I had. Okay. This right. was like eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to a premiere. I'll go to house parties. Anything with you. Oh, you should come with me too. I have an idea. Annie is a great mm. Of win. course she is. Oh I have my fun. God. I'll yeah. go to the hospital with you too. If yeah, I'm sure she's a blast. She's the type of person that when she falls, she grabs everything next to her. It scratches her way down to the ground. Fucking bullshit. I, I was just there with my friend all night. I... Uh, are you the same as me? Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, I'm a hospital friend. I'm like Cedars, 4 a.m. Wait, one thing. <laughs> I was at Cedars at 4 a.m. You know how it gets over yes. there. I ER. mean, during the day, too. Hell Cedars is man. wild. Wild. And so it was just her and I and all the junkies, of course. And like, after a while, my friend that was there was like, so see, um, why is it? She's British. She's like, why is it that the junkies are only talking to you? And I was like, <laughs> you're right. And she's like, all of them have come up and said like, when are you leaving? And if you have a cigarette, and, and yeah, I was like, because she's got that junky outline of a face. I mean, her face does look like she'd be sleeping inside boxes and stuff. What the fuck is that? Maybe they saw the movie. I think you know what I hate when somebody knows knows why knows the reason why, but they like to pretend they don't. No, uh. maybe I, I just think I give off junky <laughs> vibes or something. That's well, you I, are decomposing in front of us. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a good choice. So it's like you're rotting. She does have some junky hair too. That should be looking nasty. It's <laughs> so good. It's so dramatic. Yeah. Okay, Ezra. Is that a, is that a- Okay, we're done. I'm uh, I can't fucking do this anymore. All right. Goodbye, shitty fucking show. Let's head back to What are we going to watch? What are we going to watch? Where are we going? I need to find something great. How about this? Let's take it down to Savannah Chrisley. Savannah Chrisley has her own podcast. And guess what? Two weeks ago, she dropped a banging ass episode with who? Her dad. And if you don't know the story, the Chris, keep it up with the Chrisley or Chrisley Knows Best family, the mom and dad are in the clink now for a long fucking time. 
And this is the face that she's finally always wanted to make. Nah, yelling up to the fucking cosmos. Finally free. Okay, so she did an episode of her podcast called Unlocked, and she's got her dad on. Hey, I have the man who thinks he's the star. My dad. Look at this guy. Can you imagine the stress that's going through his head? He's about to have his whole asshole ripped open into two. Okay, prison ain't going to be good. It ain't going to be good. Thank you. And just so that we're clear, I am. (laughs) (laughs) He really is. I just like to, you know, try to make myself believe he's not. But thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. And first, let me say how. I I want to hear him say he's innocent multiple times throughout the show. That way it feels better knowing the real reality of the situation. I tell you every day how proud I am. Yes, you do. But I am so proud of what you have created, you and your friend Aaron doing everything to set your own podcast up. You know, we had started with Chrisley Confessions. Lindsay had started, I think, even before we did um, with Coffee Combos. And so then when you just kind of went out here and did it on your own, I was like, Okay, I'm going to step back, let her do this, and this is kind of find out, you know, if this is what, you know, if she can do it. And then I was actually on the phone getting data, and I find out that you actually went higher in the charts than what I did. Can you imagine right now he's thinking about this moment. He's in jail right now as we speak. And he's like, shit, dude, none of this even matters. These are the last seconds of freedom I had, and I spent it fucking here. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Folks, I mean, I will acknowledge that if I'm going to be beaten, I want to be beaten by my children. (laughs) And so now I'm beaten by my two daughters. So that's a wonderful thing. So remember, it goes back to that saying that I've always told you, that if I tell you not to do something and you do it anyway and you succeed at it, You still win. I still win because you're still my child. Yeah, Yeah. that's right. That's called the fucking cheating system. All right. That's what that's why you got in the clink because you went on these fucking foolish rules. I just need to feel your presence. Yeah. If I can just feel. Okay. God damn it. If he could just feel the inside of his daughter, he would be a better man, right? That's what I'm waiting for him to say. He's like, come here. Give me a damn kiss, Savannah. I want to touch him lips. Okay. That's what I always imagine with Todd Chrisley. He's always had a fascination with his damn daughter. And God has done that for me. And God has allowed me to feel his presence. And, you know, and I look back and I look at what Job went through and I look, you know, I look back at all the things, you know, that have happened in the Bible. Okay, she's like, this is fucking bullshit. This is all you're doing right now is called feeding the masses. She, she knows what's up. She doesn't fucking buy it for a second. She's walked in her dad with a couple hookers on each leg. Okay. She's seen the worst. She's seen her mom 69 in the fucking garbage man. She's seen it all. The smells that emit from their parents' room at night. The smell of crack. The smell of breakfast burritos. She doesn't buy his foolish lies for one fucking second. So let him talk about his God shit because at the end of the day, did your God save you? No. He taught you uh, that you got to have, you got to face the consequences when they come. And... And I think, you know, you had said something to me the other day. Um, we were sitting at your pool house and we were having a really in-depth conversation about a lot of things. And I was very emotional in that moment. She's spaced out. She doesn't even know what kind of time continuum we're in right now. Okay. She forgot she wore the dumbest fucking shoes she could. The star shoes. And then here comes Todd Chrisley out here embezzling all sorts of cash. And we're over here wearing some swift runs. What the fuck, man? You should be having some designer shit on. Boy, you should have been living life like you were on the fucking cusp of being fucking untouchable. Okay. You're out here breaking the laws, but you're buying the shit that's on sale on Amazon.com. And you said, but when is our time? Yeah. Why does this have to happen to, I mean, why us is what you said. Why us? And I looked around at your home and I looked around at, at, at the blessings that you have. And my response to you was what? Why not? She's like, I don't even fucking know what the hell you're talking about. Check it out. She's got fucking bleeding nails because she's been over here fucking with this ring on her finger for way too long. She's ready to slide it off and change her whole identity. 
why not? Mm -hmm. And the better question was really, why us? Why do you get to have what you have at, at 25? Yeah. Why do you live the way you live at 25? Okay, why? so here we go with the fucking bullshit. Why, why, why? Because dad figured out a scheme. He figured out that reality TV is a fucking goddamn a thirst trap. People love to watch people have shit they don't. They like the life, life of the luxurious, the luxury. They like to watch mindless TV and be like, or they turn it on the episode's over. They feel like they're fucking wasted. Okay. They feel like they're coming down off a bad spice high because they're like, was I in a dream or was that real? It was. And it made you fucking feel great afterwards. You're like, I can't get enough of that bullshit. Okay. We're in an era where content doesn't fucking matter. You could have a great show with great shit going on and people are like, nah. I ain't really feeling it. Turn on the damn Chrisleys. I want to see their stupid kid fucking steal candy out of his mom's purse again. And Savannah wreck her car off the I-95, drunk as fuck on the shine. I love it, okay? That's why. You figured it out. You did whatever you did to get on to USA. And you were, your whole thing was, this is a bankrupt guy. He used to be a millionaire. Lost his money. And he's trying to get his shit together. Let's watch the Southern family do Southern shit with Southern charm. Okay? And you had the sassy old fucking grandma that's like goddamn on her death's door. Every fucking season, she doesn't change in age. She's like that old grandmother in Texas Chainsaw Part 2. That you're like, holy fuck, that thing was actually alive? I thought it was just dead and they kept the body. Nope, still kicking. And that's what I feel is going on. People were more concerned about how the fuck is grandma still moving? Black magic? I think yes. When they start talking that god shit and I start to realize every color they wear is black, I think the opposite. I think Satan's at work. If that's a real thing, this is the head of somebody that likes to drink blood. The blood of the newborn. Why you? Yeah. You know, that's what I, the, you know, the emphasis that I wanted to put on it is, why you? Why have you led such a charmed life? You know, no, it's easy for people on the outside to look at us and say, you know what? Great looking family. You know, they've got it all together. Life is good for them. I like to fucking just imagine that's what people are really thinking. No, no, no. And if they are, they're fucking crazy. Oh, man. That's the face of somebody that's like, man, I don't know if this is bullshit. This is somebody that stops. In his mind, it's stopped right now. How I pause the video and he's like, fuck dude i'm so fucked i mean just freak out dude fuck all this shit i want to hear you cry on camera that would make this you make your girl your daughter way more successful see your dad look like a bitch because in two weeks them cheeks are gonna be she could she could dad's gonna be crying bro and them brothers get a hold of them that those 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 that hole but no one knows the pain that i have gone through as a child you know which is I've kind of been threatening my book now for, what, three years, yeah. and I've kind of stopped because I've had to work through some of the pain that I'm putting in this. And, you know, you've had your own struggles. You've yeah. had your processing of pain. And, um, and you know, Holly, she and I, she, at the, I was honestly shocked because we started talking about how we got to know each other and how we didn't really become close. We didn't become close until this past year or so. And she said, honestly, Savannah, like, I looked at you, and I was jealous of you. I like a nice echo of a room. Nothing's better than doing a show and, like, you know, putting the green tarp up. Pretty cool, man. This is disgusting. This is a nasty color. Okay? I have lights in here because this is all I got. Imagine being rich as fuck and actually having a setting of a fucking lit fantastic show your own living room you're rich but no you want to you want to hide it with this fucking magicians fucking looking like an elementary school stage okay the curtain that they, they have forgot how to open so every play they only got like this much of the stage to use because the janitor fucked it up once again and that's what we're looking at green that's all i'm seeing green this is gross like i didn't i didn't like you because i you've had this picture perfect life that it seemed like and you know you had it all together and i'm over here falling apart and she said and i was just there was part of me that was jealous of you mm -hmm. but it wasn't until i took the time to get to know you to realize 
that we're more similar than we're not. Mm -hmm. And but don't you think that's the that yeah. that's kind of the way it is throughout the world? Yeah. Because I said on on Chris the Confessions the other day, yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get. Yeah, that. you're gonna get it out. No, you're not. You're locked up, bud. Look at that. That guy fucking really thinks he's gonna get not go to prison. You're locked up, and all that Botox and shit's gonna fall to pieces. Dad's gonna be looking wrecked whenever they see him behind that glass screen. You know. Yeah. Um, go on, I, go for I it. She's got some golden, look at them teeth, man. I'll never have them type of teeth. And that's the type of teeth that if you would have just brushed, Nate, when you were a little kid, you'd have them. But I don't. So I'm pissed. Chris, the confessions yesterday, you know, I had mentioned to you yesterday we'd had lunch and that I'm mentoring a young country music artist here in town that's struggling mm. right now with some stuff. And I said to him, I said, what you're doing is committing social suicide. Mm-hmm. Because he compares himself to all of these other artists and people on social media and Instagram and TikTok, which you know, I don't even know how to do the TikTok <laughs> thing. And I don't. Yeah, don't lie. Don't fucking lie. Let's get a little bit further in here. I want to. OK, I can't do it. I, you know, he's going to talk more and I know he will. So let's go to the newest episode. I want to see her talk about the damn situation. I want to get the details. Okay, this is her solo show. She looks pretty fucking happy. This is two, three days ago. Fresh off Did that you know Google fresh off that fucking prison sentence, baby. And she's got a whole new fish. She's feeling herself. She's got the jammies on. Okay? So we're about to fucking see a nice solo episode. She's going to get real emotional. She's going to talk about, you know, what happened in that courtroom after hearing the decision from the judge. This is awesome. I can't wait until this stupid fucking commercial. Come on, commercial. Come on. Ugh. Can you imagine having a beard and smelling it? Nasty. I would say I'm really excited to be here today, but I'm... <laughs> Look at that. She is happy, man. I've never seen anybody not really uh, giving a fuck anymore. She's like... Oh, God, they're gone. Not going to lie to you, so I'm really not that excited, but... It's okay. Um, I when I signed up for this, I signed up to show up once a week and give you everything I've got. And instead of not showing up today, I just figured I would show up how I am. Um, and I normally do a really good job at holding it all together and putting a smile on, looking the part. I always have. That's always been my life. Okay, be quiet. If your eyes could get any more close, you'd be a cyclops. Okay, so I like a nice another angle. I love a second angle of a camera. Okay, real intense. And but well, we got to get up in this mic. You got to get some condensers. You got to get something going. I don't have a lot, but I've figured out how to like make it not sound so shitty. Because of that, I vow to be a voice for those who don't have a voice and to stand up for those who can't fight for themselves. And throughout this whole podcast journey, I want to find an organization that works with families who are impacted by our justice system. Oh, shut the fuck up. Like you're over here acting like they didn't deserve. Listen, people make, they break the law you get the consequences. I, impacted by what? You have everything that people don't. There's people out here that fucking ate goddamn maggots off the, and out of the trash for Thanksgiving with the family. And they all smiled and I don't know. I don't know. But they are okay. And you're fine. They're gone. I want to see her cry. Where's the part where she gets upset? Does it come like right here? No, she's smiling. The whole show, she's fucking gigging. And sometimes I'm like, Julie, like, ugh, and, ugh, but it's just who she is, and that's the life I want to live, and that's the example I want to leave. Oh, my God. I couldn't even fucking imagine what the fuck is going on during this whole show, so we're done. We're going to go check out fucking... Prince Michael Jackson talks thriller Halloween party gives us a house tour. I don't know who the fuck this is, but are we about to meet Michael Jackson's son.
1971. You know how the story goes, the Jacksons, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson. While living here, Michael released the biggest selling album of all time. So I don't know how this fucking Goomba got, uh, got himself into this fucking hoopla, but he's about to show us Michael Jackson's manner. ...to this day, and this year it actually celebrates its 40th anniversary. Over his lifetime, Michael donated over half a billion dollars to different charities and foundations all around the world, and his eldest son, Prince, is continuing that legacy in a beautiful way. Each year, his foundation, the Heal Los Angeles Foundation, holds a Halloween party right here. Which okay, great. Let's get inside that damn house. Yeah, so I love a house with uh, stairs that wrap around, and we got some little fake greens on them. Here he is. I found him, Prince Jackson. Good to see you again, Liam. Pleasure, buddy. Whoa, is that fucking Michael Jackson's son? There ain't no fucking way. Um, what a beautiful place. It's nice to see it uh, during the day. Um, first off, why here? Why at the Havenhurst Estate? What makes this place so special? Well, this place has been in my family since the 1970s. Mm -hmm. uh, when my family moved from Gary, Indiana to LA, this is one of the first properties they had. Um, so th this, this place that we're actually at has served as a family home for my family for so many generations. Right. You know, my uncles and my father, they grew up here. Then some of my older cousins, they grew up here. And then my siblings and I, and we yeah, grew up right. here. Wow. And so we've been, we've hosted so many birthdays, so many family dinners. What the fuck is going on? Is this Michael Jackson's kid? It doesn't even look like him. He's looking fatter than shit. Look at them tits on Michael Jackson's son. Those are intense. I didn't know Michael Jackson's son looked like this. He's got, I didn't even know Michael Jackson could grow a damn bit of facial hair, but his son's got that goatee. He's looking like, he's looking wicked. But he's the type of person that's always got them hands in the back of his pockets like he just shit himself. Watching that music video for the first time, I remember it vividly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was terrifying. The first time I saw uh, Thriller, was at the theater in Neverland. And I don't remember if it was on the 35 millimeter print or if it was on VHS, but we played it on the big screen. And for some reason, my dad thought it'd be funny to tell us like it's based on a true story or something like really? that. And, like this happens mm -hmm. to him when the full moon comes out. And that night he was messing with us because it was almost a full moon. It looked like a full moon, you right, know? Right. And he started- Wow, this is fucking bullshit. I'm trying to see, let's, let's check out Prince Michael Jackson's son's ponytail. That bitch be going downtown. Look how far that thing goes down. Can we get a nice glimpse of the pony? Oh, here we go. Look. Oh, my Wearing it. Fuck! Dad, here. Those who reach touch the stars. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right? That's gorgeous. So I was told when my dad lived here, this is where he kept his llama. I think a giraffe here? back here. Yeah, so this kind of goes here. here. That's what I was told. My dad had these stairs built over here. Um, there that's it is. It. Look at that ponytail. Oh, that thing's intense. Bedroom. Okay, you know, when I see a ponytail like that, I'm thinking them hands up on the on the wheels of the cycle. The hog. Turn it chains and shit chain wallets up there oh, yeah. okay, cool. and my dad had these stairs built so he could go right from his bedroom to the studio oh, which great. we're right standing above right, right now above the studio. and that is where the beginning of off the wall uh thriller and bad they were all kind of originally recorded here they were mixed here yeah. but not mastered here that's where we're, they were finished at westlake studio so this kid's very uh, very uh cultured with his dad's shit I did, i'm just shocked right now that this kid's like a regular tour guide imagine having all the money in the world and actually having some intelligence and being able to tell everybody about i don't know fucking llamas and michael jackson records god damn this kid's fucking making me fucking feel some type of way what's up uh like son let me see what's inside under these pants i bet there's zany leopard skin underwear or something i don't know but i've been told that before we got van halen on the uh the beat it for the guitar it was my uncle tito that did it downstairs oh, no for way. my dad yeah they were both oh, just no jamming way. right there so it's really cool to be able to celebrate 40 years, you know, right. that's where we, that's where it started and here we are 40 Isn't years that later. crazy? And the thing about Thriller as well is like that album has stood the test of time so beautifully. Yes. What does that album in particular mean to you? Um, that's a very good question. I mean, it's an album I think that my dad was really proud oh of. Oh my God, what happened to the fucking quality of the video? Looks like, sh looks like we're in a 90s video right now. Okay, this is bullshit. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here.